Allow us to reintroduce ourselves, folks. My name is Gavin, and this is Drew Herrick, and we are I Choose Albuquerque, and we are happy to be back. It's been a number of years. Um, I think, what was it, the last episode we had came out fall of 2019. That's wild. I know, and we, I mean, we had so much fun shooting those episodes and everything, and like, we had so many really great people on, and then we had all these episodes planned, we had guests lined up, we had all of that stuff ready to go, um, and we were going to start reshooting again uh, March of 2020, and then we all know what happened, you know? So, yeah, which, I mean, it allows us to pivot and yeah. change and grow and, you know, rethink what we want and, yeah. and I don't want to say rebrand because we still kind of have the same concept, but give us a different spin on what we want to do. Yeah, I think, you know, we still have the same um, passion for the city, right? I think our message is still the same, um, is that we are promoters of Albuquerque. Um, we we love being here. We love doing business here. We love the lifestyle here. Um, and we believe in its people and our community a lot. Um, but I think, you know, time has passed. And we're also saying that there's even more opportunities to even do this better. Absolutely. Right? Um, and I think that's what you and I have kind of realized um, and we've run into a couple of roadblocks over the years. We've tried to bring this back a couple of times and I think, uh, this is it, right? I think we're both pretty committed to making sure that we bring you guys, uh, these videos, we get the best interviews that we can and, um, we continue to just carry the flag, um, of Albuquerque. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, ultimately we want to be a place and a platform for you to be in the know of all things Albuquerque, whether that's real estate, which is what we focus and do professionally right. or events. We're introducing you to amazing people and what they do. And if we can leverage our, you know, personal and professional sphere of friends and influences um, and have fun with it, you know, we all win. Yeah, ultimately, we're we're here to help. Well, you know, you and I have talked about how, like, I think a lot of the the passion we have at this city is, you know, obviously we're from here, right? We're locals. This is this is our city as much as it is everybody else's. But also, you know, we we tend to kind of run in a circle of people that believe the same things. Right. Yeah. And they're out there trying to do a lot of good things for the city. Um, and I would say it's, it's like, a, you know, we got a lot of like Albuquerque Mavericks that kind of like orbit us sometimes. And so it's cool to see what other people are doing. And I think um, the best thing we could do is highlight that stuff for them, but also for the community. So people can see like success stories and really good stuff going on in our, our city. Yes, absolutely. And we talk about it all the time, you know, yeah. it's that mindset of abundance over scarcity and, mm -hmm. You know, my piece of the pie doesn't take from yours. We just add to each other. And, you know, as the tide rises, we all we all rise together. Yeah. So, so I think we should kind of um, let people know what they can expect going forward. For sure. Um, it's uh, it's interesting. We, sh we shot a full-length ep episode with Jacob Fox, um, the owner of uh, Little Bear Coffee, um, the fall of 2021. Yep. And then... What happened for it? For whatever reason, we we ran into a bunch of production issues um, and trying to line everything up, and things just didn't really come to fruition. But um, we're going to release that episode because it's a great episode. I mean, it yeah, is. Absolutely. You know, it, it's a little dated because uh, it was in the middle of twenty one, like. right? And so, um, but I think there's a lot of stuff in it that still uh, rings true today. Yeah, absolutely. And Jacob makes some incredible points, you know, and it's really interesting to listen to him. Um, but I also think it would be interesting to bring him back on the show. That's a good idea. And, you know, and like, let's, let's have a similar conversation again and see if it still like aligns with kind of where we were two years ago. Yeah. It'll be interesting for, I mean, us to re-listen to it as well as, you know, people tuning in because what he talks about, a lot of that stuff has came to fruition and right. a lot of it has changed. And I'm curious if it's, you know, things just happen and play out the way they're supposed to, or if they were intentional pivots made by you know, Jacob, as well as us, you know, we like, like you said, things happen. We didn't put it out, uh, but we pivoted and, you know, now we're ready and things happen when they're supposed to. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, it feels like we're more prepared now than ever to really do this properly yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and make it like a, a regular thing for people. So, yeah. um, you know, we, we want to put out content that's going to center around the people that we think are doing really good stuff. Right. And that's a, the thing is, is if you know somebody, reach out to us and let us know. Right. Because we, we obviously... You know, Albuquerque's, it's a little big town, but, you, and it feels like you know everybody, but there's probably a bunch of people out there doing incredible stuff that we don't know about. And honestly, I'd love to hear from them. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, and then also, I think you and I have kind of identified that 
one of the best things we can do for our city, right? And we've talked about in other episodes is being the best version of yourself within over whatever space you're in. Yeah. Right. Um, and so for, for us, we kind of talked about how, you know, we've been, so we've been in the real estate business for a long time. You've been doing what mortgages for coming up at eight years, eight years. Right. And I've been a real estate broker and in, and an investor for almost seven. Right. Yeah. We learned a lot and stuff. And I truly believe that, um, it would be a disservice for us if we didn't kind of share some of that knowledge that we have for new, for people living in Albuquerque, because yeah, absolutely. I think there's some unique factors for Albuquerque. Um, when it comes to housing, I know housing is a, it's a hot topic here right now. Um, it's, it's all over the news. It's all over social media. People are talking about, you know, home prices, rents, that kind of stuff. Um, and really, I think we, we have a duty to inform and educate them so that they can make better decisions going forward. Yeah, absolutely. We don't know everything, but we right. have very educated, um, you know, places to get our information, right? right. Being in the industry, being in the know, uh, in the dirt of it day to day, for lack of a better term. So yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. You know, it's in our best interest to make sure that people that know and respect us know what's going on in our sphere, in our professional sphere, because that's where we own our space. We're, we're professionals in that that area. Um, and we should talk knowledgeably about that. And then the other areas where we're not, that's where we want to hear from. That's, yeah, and then that's where we want to hear from other people, you know? Um, the other thing too, is I think we, we can do a really good job of highlighting some really great things about the city sometimes, right? Like, for sure. you know, um, different restaurants and stuff within those spaces and really explore that kind of stuff and highlight those, those businesses, um, and those people that operate those businesses and tell their stories a little bit. So I'm excited to work on that kind of stuff, but also like what else the city has to offer, you know, um, like just highlighting the best of the city, right. From you know, like our, our, our best parks here in town to what can you be doing on the weekends? Like, you know, let's, let's really explore what the, the, the best that the city has to offer. And I'm excited for that because I know that like, I'm going to get exposed to things that I haven't really seen, you know, yeah, for sure. We're going to have some like top five lists where right. we align pretty well and then where we're completely off of each other, which is good. You know, if yeah. we could be agreed on everything, I don't think we'd be sitting here doing this. It wouldn't be fun for us or for other people. So hell yeah. no. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're excited. Thank you all for sticking with us. Um, we will have the next episode with Jacob Fox that'll come out next week. Um, and then we will start with back to interviews, right? Yeah. Some interviews, uh, some more interesting things where we're not, you know, such a formal setting where we had a little bit more fun. You guys to see us kind of what we do in day to day. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys tune in and I hope you reach out. I hope we get to talk to you on or off camera soon. Cool. See you soon.